Ken and Julie Yearden were eating at their favorite restaurant, this Chili's in Syracuse, New York, and they weren't happy when the meal, chicken and broccoli, was served. The broccoli was undercooked, almost raw, and un unlike I've had there before, so I just asked if they could cook it a little bit more. It was a pretty standard request, but for some reason, the waiter got upset. My husband said, you know, have we offended you in some way because it seems like you're annoyed with us. And he said, with a smile, he said, oh, no, not at all. He said, no, not at all. Ken paid the bill and also ordered a soda to go. He even took a sip. But when he put the drink in his car cup holder, the lid popped off. And that's when he noticed something truly nasty. I said to my wife, I can't, I can't believe it, but there's something in my cup. And it looks like spit. He took this photo. Sure enough, there it is, a disgusting wad of spit. How gross. Did you feel physically sick after yeah, that? Yeah, my stomach was turning, yeah. And I was shaking too because it was so it was so disgusting. He stormed back into the restaurant and confronted the waiter. I said, why did you spit in my drink? He said, I didn't spit in your drink. Ken Yurden was so grossed out by what he saw in his cup and so convinced it was his waiter who did it that he went to the police. The New York State Police considered the matter a potential criminal act. They interviewed the waiter, Gregory Lamica, but he denied spitting into the soda. So in an unprecedented move, they asked the waiter to submit to a DNA test. The state crime lab results came back three months later. Lo and behold, a match. The DNA tested positive for Mr. Lamica's spit. Do you feel bad about spitting in that cup? We caught up with the waiter outside his house. I never spit in any cup. He still denies it. Sorry, buddy, but DNA doesn't lie. What he did was vile and disgusting.